Do you wanna know the biggest mistake I see people making when they're trying to manifest that special person? They stay stuck in step one of the manifesting process. Manifesting requires a three-step process. Step one, identify what you want. Step two, hold space for it. Step three, receive it. Step one, we want something. How do we know we want it? Because we don't have it. So we crave it, we long for it. But the more we crave it, the more we long for it, the more we emphasize that we don't have it. And the higher we put it on a pedestal. What does that mean on a pedestal? If I only had this, then everything would be okay. If I only had this, then I'd be happy. If I only had this, then I'd be complete. Which means, I'm not complete right now. Needy energy. Here's the thing, love. The wanting is only the starting point. There are two more parts to the creative process. If I want a piece of chocolate cake, will I stay stuck daydreaming, longing, and craving for it? No. The desire activates a natural process of creation. Now, because I don't have any limiting beliefs around making or getting a chocolate cake, you can bet that I will be savoring that cake by the end of the day. Well, when it comes to that special person or that ideal job, something that we've been craving and longing for a long time, here's the most important question. Do you have limiting beliefs around being able to savor that experience by the end of the day? Absolutely. The result, we crave it even more keeping us stuck in phase one of the process. You've got to move to the next phase of the process, part two, which is holding space for it, which is exactly what I'm going to talk about in the second video of this series. For now, just let me know if that's your case. If you're stuck in phase one, let me know in the comments.